Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that I received in the comments of a previous video. This one is from Anirudh Nair who has asked us, can we add just an audio to prototype in Figma? So if you're aware, Adobe XD has this as an inbuilt feature to add audio feedback to your prototype actions, which is a cool feature to use in certain kind of prototypes. Unfortunately, Figma doesn't support this feature yet, nor does Anima plugin have this as a direct feature. However, I just found a hack or maybe a workaround to achieve this using Anima. So thanks to Anirudh for asking this question. And now as usual, let's see what we're going to create today and then we can get started. So here I'm on the prototype and I just downloaded the screen from a UI kit just to demonstrate to you how to add an audio to it. So this is a send money screen and once I enter in an amount here, the confirm button is enabled. And once I click on confirm, you just hear a sound and there's a small animation showing you the success screen here. So let's see how to do this. So here I'm on my Figma app. I've got three screens here that we're going to use to create this demo. So the first one is the send money screen. The second one is the same thing, but with the amount entered and also the confirm button enabled. And the third one is just a confirmation screen. So let's quickly go ahead and prototype this. So I'll go to prototype tab here and I'll link up the amount to the next one where the amount is displayed. So maybe I'll use as a dissolve here so that the amount appears and also the confirm button is enabled and the confirm button will be linked to the next one but I want an animation here so I'll go for the smart animate so these two will just fade in and this color will grow up from the top so everything looks good I'll just go ahead and run this so I'll click on the play or the present button here and that should load up our prototype so there you go it's loaded up I'll click on the amount field here the amount is entered the confirm button is enabled once I click on confirm you can see the animation on the success screen here. So everything looks good. All what we got to do is add the sound effect on the confirm button here. So as I mentioned, we'll be using the Anima plugin. So if you're not installed it, just go ahead and install it. And once you choose it, you'll see a window like this. So if you're doing it for the first time, you'll have to actually create an account, which is totally free So just go ahead and create it. And then you'll be seeing the screen here. So Anima basically allows you to add an embedded code uh, onto your project, which is basically nothing but adding some HTML, CSS and JavaScript to your prototype. So I've got a small code here, which I've written. If you're not aware of HTML and JavaScript, don't be worried. This is very simple. All what you got to do is just change the source of the uh, sound that you want. So I'm dealing with money. So I've got a small money sound clip that I found on the web. So just go ahead and paste the clip of the MP3 that you want to play. And these are nothing but an invisible button and this is some code to actually invoke the sound. So don't worry about that. Just copy this after uh, changing the link of the clip here. Choose the layer where you want to add the sound effect. So in my case, this is the layer here. I'll go to embed code, click on the plus button here and you'll have some different boxes here. You need to add it on the selected layer because I'm dealing with a layer here. So if you're dealing with a frame or something, just go for the other options. But in my case, it's a layer. So I'll just paste the code here and that's it. You just need to click on save and you're done. Just choose all your artboards or frames and click on preview in browser. So this is basically uploading all your uh, frames onto the Anima site where you can basically run your prototype. So there you go. It's done. It says your draft is ready. You just click on the open option here and that should load your prototype on your browser. There you go. We have the screen. I click on the amount field the amount is entered and once I click on the confirm button here there you go you had the sound effect and the animation so a couple of more tips here make sure that you add the code on a layer itself don't add it on a group or something so if your button is actually grouped don't go ahead and add it on that that would uh, basically cause some issues so make sure that you're adding it to a separate uh, layer or the rectangle here that's it for this video guys I hope you found it helpful and informative and as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.